in Chad at the border crossing in Adre. I'm probably just about 75 meters from the border. I've had discussions um, with returnees, uh, Chadian returnees. I've heard harrowing stories of separation. I've heard harrowing stories of fear. I've heard stories about people walking for their life, leaving the lives that they know with nothing but the clothes they were wearing. What they were most concerned about is when they would be together as a family again, when they would have their own homes, when they would be able to return to the lives that they had. Many of them are teachers and nurses and traders um, in markets, and all of that's gone. They said that they're back to zero, and they want the opportunity for a future where they can live a life of dignity. What IOM is focused on is right from the start ensuring that um, the Chadian returnees are on the pathway to a durable solution, either here in Adre or returning to their um, communities of origin in, in Chad. We've done registration, we have provided some water, some tarpaulin um, for shelter, some um, hygiene kits, particularly um, for women, but it's not enough. We stand in solidarity with the government of Chad. We call on our international partners, our international donors, to support us in addressing humanitarian needs, but more important, in supporting a pathway to a life and livelihoods of dignity.